Hello friends, today I want to make some postcards and I'm using this postcard um, from YWAP. I like to recycle these, we get these every year. Um, this particular year um, we had an abundance of them. This is one of the spring programs that we had and we do um, motivational, inspirational um, stuff with young um women from the age of like 13 to 18 and yeah so that's something I'm part of anyway I get to have all the leftover cards and posters and stuff like that if there's any leftovers and I get to repurpose them and the fun thing about using these cards too for me because it's kind of a way of um, not necessarily advertising but just people to be aware so I leave uh, a partial I'll put my information there but I'll leave partials and information that people want if they want to find out what I'm involved in on the back so that's kind of neat I like to do that you could also use um, recycled mail like recycled mail with, with this too so I'm just putting some gesso on here white gesso from um, deco art and I'm going to make some happy mail postcards and so that's what I'm doing I'm just going to do four at a time today and sometimes I'll just throw different paints on there sometimes but today I just want to do gesso and I'm going to use um, my um, sprays and see what I can come up with I was um, inspired by B Grub watching her video today and she was using um, some sprays and just doing some really nice postcards and I'm like been really enjoying I was really um, enjoying that video and I'm inspired to do some postcards for some people here, some friends, some of you guys. So I'm going to do these and I'm going to use my metallic uh, misters and spray them and have so much fun with them. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to dry these up and then um, put some nice lovely drippy sprays on. So now I have kind of put them into my journal page here. This is my um, journal book one of my journal books here and I'm that way I can't get the paint as much everywhere well I guess I can if I can challenge myself to but I mean it's going to be a little bit better so I have to check I usually I cleaned these bottles but some of them I was using them and I couldn't figure out why they weren't working and um, I'm telling you you have to really clean the bottles um, and I figured out how to do that um, I was watching Crazy Island um, and I got um, I got a tip from I can't remember her name oh I'm so mean and um, I was watching her do a journal page and she was talking about how she uses the um, brush cleaner to clean them and that kind of thing so anyway but I used water, brush cleaning to clean it initially in water, and then now I just gotta run some water through and that kind of thing. So I haven't used them since they were cleaned. Oh, this one's got a glob of paint, so that's why I didn't shake it well enough. But um, things happen, right? It's all all sprays have their thing so I might have gotten that one stuck in there now I might got something stuck in there now so I'm just gonna continue and I'm, yeah I have to clean them see how they work a lot better once you clean them and I'm throwing some more on. Can you see that? Is that good? And I can't leave these like this. Just to let you know, I won't be able to leave them like this. You do have to clean them. That's that's a thing. So I'm going to put some water on there just to make it move a little bit more. So I have just a regular water in a water sprayer. So I'm going to do that. I won't need much. Trust me. I keep a water bottle with a cap on the side so it's pretty safe, doesn't fall. 
I just want to make it move a little bit more. Oh, don't water my computer. That would be bad. My computer is right behind here. So there we go. And it's going onto my page, but that's okay. So that is going to be my first one. I really like how it looks like a little knot in there of a tree. It's kind of neat. I'm going to move that over to dry. I'm going to start on the next two and move that one over to dry. So these are going to be right there now. So we'll see what I can get back on here because this one wasn't working. Go with the more cooler colors. Gotta mix them up a bit better. I'm still working on getting these particular ones to work, but the colors are beautiful. I think I, maybe I need to clean the bottles just a little bit more. But there we go. And I like that teal. This one's gonna be darker. This is uh, um, the carbon black. Uh, is it carbon black? Yep. And now I'm going to add a little bit of water. Make, oh, that's not the right water. That one's got the blister in it. I find that if you do spray water with glycerin in it, it just adds a little sheen to it. It does dry. <laughs> but it's not always something I want to look at is the sheen. So this is kind of interesting wash there. I'm going to let that drip a bit. There we go. Put that to the side. Put that to the side. These are pretty dark, but as the water kind of ran through it, it lightened up. Now my journal page is quite wonky, but this is um, a really thick paper that I made it from. Um, it's ex examples for the um, countertops that you can order and stuff like that for your home. So they give you that where you can buy them. I buy them for like however many cents. I can't remember at Rona or whatever. So okay, this is what I have, friends. Isn't this great? These are the cards. Um, nice. I love that the paint. I just got, like I said, I, I, I used those bottles and I didn't wash them at first and then they get hard to kind of clean. So I'm going to have to keep working at it, clean them a little bit better. But that was my bad, not cleaning them to begin with. But they are great colors and I just love using them. So these are my nice cards. And you know what I really love is when you do the, um, the gesso in different brush, bro, uh, brush strokes, you get such a unique, oh, abstract piece inside of that and in the paint just picks it up and I love that. So those these are my, gonna be my four um, pieces I work with here for uh, Happy Mail. Okay so I have Whispering Whites. Now I really need to get like a permanent. I have these. I bought these off of a friend. They're all used um, and I, I'm gonna use Whispering White and it may move, it may not, because of the, uh, it's not permanent, it's water-based. So here is, I don't have no sponge behind, usually I have a foam, uh, craft foam behind them, but I'm not too worried about what's going to show through and that kind of thing. It's just going to be like, you know, a happy kind of piece like that. So I'm hoping that I can keep that and not wash too much of that off with whatever I'm going to do. I'm not kind of really have a plan. I'm just going to grab some water here and clean off my, see how easy that moved off? So much easier than ink, but um, it's not that great in mixed media because it's harder or harder to keep it on there. What I used to do is do a little spritz of, um, and I could just do that, a little spritz over it of um, something to seal it and I actually will do that now that I'm thinking about it. And just needs a little spritz of it. So now I'm going to do the archival ink ranger black. I 
like this. There we go. So now that's done. I can even add a little bit more stamping. And it's that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a nice fun piece. Now I have this just for you stamp. And these are um, Stampin' Up. This is a Stampin' Up, I believe. No, actually these are from the, this is a Stampin' Up. This is, oh yeah, they are both. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm mistaken. I'm my name mixed up. Usually it has a little sticker inside, but I just see it on, on there. So I don't know how old these are. I got them just buying them off of people and deals and that kind of thing. Trades. So I'm just putting these just for you on this postcard. There you go. And now, now I'm just going to go get something just to spray a little now I have a Americana spray finish I'm just going to spray a tad just a spritz on these white ones but I'm going to heat them up here a little bit dry them up I'm not going to spray too much. So I could just get it to stay. And that's it. I normally use that outdoors, but I just wanted to get a little spritz. I find too that you lose a little bit of the pigment, but it's still there. And I really like that. On the dark so that's why I wanted to do that today and now I'm just about playing with it embellishing it more so this is what I got these um, antiquing creams and I was so excited to use them and I think I'm gonna use them today I was so excited to try them out now this one is a um, patina green patina green <laughs> I can't read today um, I should have grabbed some reading glasses. Yes, I'm at that age. It's hard, a terrible, terrible thing to say. But I did run to the dollar store and grab like 100 reading glasses. Ugh. Especially because I have an iPhone and it's so hard to read any messages from you guys. So I'm going to put some of this on here. I haven't used it on... Um, paper yet so I don't know how it works on you know so I'm just going to use my other thing to kind of rub it on rub it off so this is on the acrylic and on the the um the paint that we sprayed on so it looks nice I like it and this one is a carbon black this one here will look really nice I think this is a um, English red. It looked, I used it on the galvanized pail that I um, gessoed and I put some paper down and I rubbed it a little bit on, a little bit off. It looks so great. But I'm just, this is my first time testing it on paper. So, well, I did have paper on the gesso can, but, ah, uh, you know. But anyway, just straight paper, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. So I have a very dirty, dirty cloth here. Very dirty cloth. Let's see how I can smoosh that in. I really like that look. It's rubbing still, and that cloth is not wet, so I like it. Um, I don't know if I like the red on here because I have too much red, so I'm going to grab a little bit more of the, the, the um, green. But it does, it gives it that little antique look, I guess. <laughs> I just got a big painting look here, but I like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, looks great. I even kind of put some over the red. See, it kind of tones down that red. That looks nice. I do like the antiquing um, cream. So that is those. I wanted to test those out, and I did. That's so cool. Yeah, really nice. So next we could do some doodling and that kind of thing. I'm not sure here. Let's see. What do I want to doodle? I'm just going to go and kind of sketch my edges here a bit. Can you guys see me? I'm using a Pasca pen for this part here. B had um, these um, postcard backings that she made um, into stickers, and she has that on her her YouTube. So you guys, if you're interested in that, she does have a link on hers. I should probably try to see if I can link it. Hopefully, I I, I don't know what the, I'll try to see if I can find it. If you guys don't know her, if I can't find it, it's B B Grub. I'm sorry, but. I will try to find it. I hope it wasn't an older video. I don't know. I'm losing it. I don't think it was. Anyway, so now I'm just kind of sketching. This is very plain. I'm not even going too crazy with, with stuff on it. Like, I like to usually put this and that and flowers and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to let the paint be the showcase here. The wonderful deco art paint. <laughs> but no, seriously, I wanted the paint to be the showcase and just the the gravity of it and just that's really what I want nothing that I need to do to make it look good it's more or less the products the stamps the, the ink the um, paint yeah I'm just here it's in my hands but it's not doing I'm not doing the work look at it all this stuff is doing the work so easy Now I'm just going to do a little bit of the white on the darker ones, I think. Just the darker ones, I think. Isn't that pretty? Do I want to do more? I might stamp more things in there. I don't know. But that's something I can do. I can totally doodle in there and that kind of thing. But I think right now, I really love them the way they are. And I think that's it, guys. Very easy and not, um, like, I didn't have to go. I can go into more detail, but I think I'm just going to leave the paint be the star here. The brush strokes and all that kind of stuff, because I really like that. I don't want to cover any of that up. I hope you guys like this, and I encourage you guys to make some happy mail for some people. And, um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Bye.